Okie dokie, we have the 87 plus Winter Wildcard Centurions or Future Stars player pick on my main account. For cheap, fast and reliable foot coins, check out MMO EXP. There is a link down below and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. These have been absolutely cracked for most people. So I'm guessing for me it's probably going to be terrible. It's one of five 87 plus Winter Wildcard Centurion or Future Star Team 1 players. Ibra, Neymar, Alvarez, Mudrick, some very good players out there we could get. Here we go, EA. Who are we getting in this player pick? <laughs> well then. Uh, Robertson. It's not a bad left back card. Jack Butland, Man United player. Robbo 600k. You are lying to me. There's no chance Robertson 600k, right? I thought, I thought he was about 200k. You're lying to me. 460k. All right, fair enough. He's actually worth a lot more than I thought. Uh, Sanse, I'm not interested in. Butland, I don't care. Aspie, I don't care. Elgar, I don't care. We are taking Robertson. He's the obvious pick there. Not as great as some of the ones I saw yesterday, but... I mean, it's still a decent card. It's a, it's a good left back card, realistically. He's he, he will go into a team. He has five star skills. I did not know that. Um, he'll go into a team. To be fair, he's got really good stats. I'm, I am quite happy with that. To be fair, I just I got myself really excited and emotional for like a Neymar or a Hebra or something, and we didn't get them. But solid. All right, we have Joao's eighty seven plus um, Winter Wild Cup Centurion or Future Stars player pick. Now we're hoping it's better than mine. Four hundred and fifty k Robertson is not bad. But if we can get someone better than that, then it's very, very good. Here we go. What are we saying? I don't know. I mean, Gvardiol is 300k, which is a W. Joao Felix, is he still worth coins? My issue is I don't really know about a lot of the older cards on the market. 570k for Joao Felix is solid, man. That is a solid pull. Um, he's also pretty good in game. I remember using him when he first came out. So, Joao Felix is decent. Gvardio is alright. I mean, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Um, I would say Joao Felix is probably the choice there. You are also called Joao. So, it kind of makes sense to go with Joao Felix. But, Gvardio is sick. I don't know. That's a really tough one. Let me know in the comments down below who you would pick in this scenario. And also, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. And, yeah, let me know down below who you'd pick. I think I'd pick Joao Felix. Alright, we're on to the other PlayStation account now. We've got a guaranteed Future Stars player pack for three tokens... It would be just this account's luck to go and get something huge here. Watch. Here we go. Big Nation EA. Oihan Sa I can't escape Oihan Sansei today, can I? I just can't escape this guy, man. I just cannot escape this guy. Um, He actually scored, I think, a hat-trick last week as well. He's not a terrible card, to be fair. If he had five-star skills, I'd, I think I'd actually give him a go. Um, But the fact that he's got four-star, four-star puts me off a little bit. I don't know. I just like five-star skillers in FIFA. Uh, it's not a terrible card, though, to be honest. I don't think it's super expensive, but yeah, it's all right. Okay, we have my 85-plus player pick on my main account. Here we go, EA. Can we get ourselves a future stars? That is the question. Here we go. Come on. Ah, you know what? I'll take Haaland. Um, two prior future stars, actually, in Haaland and uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold. It's not terrible. 88 Haaland's all right. Good fodder. We'll take that. Uh, soon to be a championship player, so big dub. This video is sponsored by SoRare. If you don't know by now, SoRare is an incredibly immersive fantasy sports platform. If you follow me on other social medias, you see me talking about it literally all the time. I am absolutely in love with SoRare. Now, recently, SoRare announced their partnership with the Premier League, which means you can now draft and use some of your favourite Premier League players on the platform, and I am absolutely loving it. Now, this week, in the Premier League Pro 270 division, the top 30 places win two Premier League tickets to a game, and in the semi-pro division, the top 10 places win two Premier League tickets to a game, as well as the limiteds that you win usually. Now, to enter the semi-pro division, you only need one Premier League limited card, which you can get by going to the marketplace and checking out the Premier League limited auctions on the marketplace. I know Newcastle have got a decent matchup this week against Bournemouth, so someone like Sven Botman might be a player you want to look at. However, it goes without saying that my favourite picks are always my Man United boys. Remember, this is not financial advice, and if you do choose to invest your money, please do 
it responsibly. Now, this is my team for the semi pro. My limited is going to be Matoma from Brighton. Each limited card gets a 50% captain bonus in the semi pro division. I ran the same team last week and managed to pick myself up a tier three Premier League limited card. You can sign up to So Rare using the link in the description and make sure to check out their brand new Premier League limited tournaments in order to try and win yourself some Premier League tickets. Massive thank you to So Rare for sponsoring this video. All right, we have got Lala's 85 plus next. What are we saying? Come on. Oh, no way. It's actually a really good player pick as well. As if, man. Are you kidding me? A duplicate Kalulu. Uh, Kalulu and Kunku and Hoffman. It's actually pretty decent because he got a good fodder in Hoffman as well. That is a shame, though. Come on, EA. Sort us out. Better than that. All right. 85 plus on my other places to count next. Here we go. Ooh, 90 rated salad. These seem a lot better than yesterday. Yesterday, these weren't very good at all, but we're getting some high rated cards here. We have Modern Fury's player pick next. Come on, future star. Yeah, Casemiro, to be fair. You got the best You got the best DM in the world. Best midfielder in the Premier League this season. Casemiro, you'd love to see it. Let's go. All right, next one. We've got Amy's player pick next. Ooh, Oihan Sansei. I cannot escape Oihan Sansei today. I cannot escape him. He is in every pack in every player pick, I swear. Well, he's not bad, though. We'll take we'll take a future star, Sansei. All right, next 85 plus. Come on, EA. Let's get something good. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get something decent, please. Please. I beg. Not bad, actually. Martinez is pretty good. 88 rated in form. Can't complain. Here's your daily Hubendish. For those of you that come by every day for just a Ruben Diaz, you're welcome. All right, we've got two of them now on my Xbox account. One from yesterday and one from today. Let's see if we can get something good in one of these on my Xbox account. Come on, EA. First one's going to be Luka Modric. It's all right. Not amazing, but it's okay. Uh, second one now. Can we get a future stars, EA? Come on. 288 is not terrible. I mean, what rate is worth these days? The, the the market seems to be really inflated right now. About 35k, 70k in total. It's not it's not terrible. I'm not really complaining to be honest. I mean, this account has got juice pack luck. Look at this. Look at this first owner team, and tell me this account doesn't have the most juiced pack luck. Bar um, bar Nardoni in goal. <laughs> Oh, I should probably buy someone, shouldn't I? I also have a 1082 plus. I've no idea where from. Uh, Lala grinds this account for me. Um, but we have a 1082 plus, which is going to be at least a board. Croatian, left mid, Perisic. Brilliant. Just what you wanted, an 84 rated. Okay, right. That was not a great 1082 plus. I think we've got a couple of 83 double upgrades in here as well. We can quickly open as well. Uh, 83 double upgrade number one. Oh, no, this is 83 single player upgrade, isn't it? I think there's only one 83 plus player here. And it's Danish. All right, we're going to head and skip that. We don't want to see Danish, do we? Uh, it's going to be Kasper Schmeichel. Mate, Nice are actually not doing too badly. I think they beat Marseille at the weekend. So, fair play to them. Here we go with another 83 double this time. Can we get something better than the last one? Sterling, at least. All right, Raheem Sterling, 86 rated. Not awful. We'll take that. Uh, 83 him and there as well. At least it's a walkout. Uh, a second one now. What are we saying? Second 83 double. Come on, future stars. Oh, we did get one. Let's go. Oh, it's Diogo Costa. I thought that might have been Bettinia, man. I got so excited. I'll take it, though. Future Stars Diogo Costa in an 83 double upgrade is Colossus. We absolutely take those. I did think it was Bettinia for a sec. All right. These are rare players back as well. 50k pack now. No back-to-back -back Future Stars, but a walkout here. Spanish CDM Rodri. We'll take that. Solid. Another walkout is what we want. Um, Duvacas as well. Is he a duplicate untradeable, though? He is. I'm going to have to recover him later on. Not ideal. But I'm happy with that, to be fair. I did not think we were going to get a future stars there at all. Uh, we're going to end off with the 281 double upgrades now. First one, and we're just going to skip. I don't really care. I'm just going to skip it. Sergio Ramos and Masrawi. Fair enough. All right, second one. Come on, EA. Sort us out with the second one, please. Future stars? No. Okay. We did not get a future stars on this one. But we do... Oh, Hoiberg. Go away. All right. Next 85 plus player pick. Bakayo's Brethren's. What are we saying? Saved by DePaul. All right. Next one. Son of Rachel's 85 plus player pick. What are we saying? Future stars on this one. Come on. Hey, Bruno Fernandes. Sadly, uh, you got the worst uh, attacking midfielder from Portugal. But fair enough. All right, next guaranteed future stars pack. Here we go. Come on, Mudrick. Mudrick or Alvarez? Portugal? Wait. Oh, man. 
I got really excited there. Uh, I thought it was a, uh, <laughs> I thought it was a, um, I thought it was Vitinia, bro. I thought it was Vitinia. Oh, I'm stupid. Oh, I got so excited for that as well. I thought that was Vitinia. Oh, man. Come on. Yaya Torre, right now. Woke up. Bash. I mean, Marquisio's all right. Joe Cole's meh. Marquisio's all right, though. Not well cut, Marquisio, like we wanted, but that's okay. All right. Helman has got the 87 plus a base or World Cup hero and the 85 plus rare gold player pick. We'll do the rare gold player pick first. Come on, future stars. Jed Spence. Not bad. Uh, 86 rated. I was hoping for something better there, but you can see the little, like, purpleiness, like, protruding through. So we did know it was a future stars. That's how you can tell. So, uh, I mean, obviously, we're going to take Jed Spence here, right? He wants Mignon, which is fair enough. Higher rated makes makes more sense if he if he just wants fodder. All right. Base or World Cup hero player pick now. Abdi Pele is pretty good, to be fair. That's a pretty decent card. Can't complain too much about that. Uh, Papan and Park Ji Sung, the other two options. Um, but Abdi Pele is solid. All right. Now for his 84 by 20. Come on. Here we go. Yes. Future stars. English, right wing back. It's a good job he didn't take Jed Spence, isn't it? It's a very good job he took Mike Mignon over Jed Spence. Because he gets him in the 84 by 20. All right. Anything else? Oblak, Cruz, Donnarumma, Muller, Fabinho, Lukaku. The fodder is okay. But, oh, De Gea in there as well. The fodder is all right. It's just, you know, disappointing that uh, the future stars had to be 86 Jed Spence. He's just so common, man. Give us someone that's not as common.